Boris Johnson, hear us shout! Pay us properly or get out! Boris Johnson, hear us shout! Pay us properly or get out! What do we want? A pay rise! Right. When do we want it? Now! What do we want? A pay rise! Right. When do we want it? Now! We're a group of NHS workers from St. Thomas Hospital. We're out to protest against the government's 1% pay offer, which is ridiculous. We should have had a pay rise today, 1st of April, but they're dragging out negotiations to the summer. We've not had proper pay rise. We've not even kept up with the inflation. We're asking for 15% to restore our pay to the value it was 10 years ago, and we're willing to fight to get it. What do we want? How do we get it? What do we want? How do we get it? I feel like we've been cheated. We've been promised, you know, a lot of things, and 1% is not enough. We can't even afford, you know, just a basic living. As nurses, we work long hours, we work through the whole pandemic, we've not stopped. Do you know what I mean? And it's been tough. It's been so tough, and we've not been recognized at all for all our hard work. You know, we've been putting all, all our lives at risk and we've still not been recognized for it. We have bills to pay and we've got student loans to pay as well. We need a pay rise to invest in staff and help rebuild the NHS after the pandemic. We have massive recruitment and retention crises which can't be resolved without a proper pay rise. We've got 40,000 nurse vacancies. When I started nursing it was only 5,000 and that's going to impact on patient care. All workers need to stand together because the government are coming for them. We've worked every day through COVID. Us as transport workers, these as health workers. We've seen people die, we've seen our colleagues die. And we're not, we're not going to just say we're lucky to have a job. And we don't need the pay rise. Absolutely we need the pay rise. So all workers need to stand together and fight for one. 1% won't pay the rent. 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 Horace Johnson, hear us shout. I work on the ward on hematology. Uh, we have been helping out on ICU. It's been an, an incredible experience to work in a team of people just solving problems and helping to take care of people and create a vision for healthcare and, and actually physically enable to do that. And it's been a real insult, really, to hear that I just got a 1% pay raise. I feel let down. Since this pandemic started, I haven't done any, maybe go off for any minute. And I deserve thank you pay raise. I've worked through the last year on a COVID ICU. Um, we've worked extremely hard. We've seen lots of horrible things. We've done our best for our patients. Our trust has lost porters, domestics, nurses. Eight people died this year. Every single one of them was a member of black or ethnic minority background. Somebody very close to us, a nurse, who'd worked alongside me for 18 years, who left two young children. I'm not sure which is most insulting actually, our 0% or your 1%. We know if you don't get more than 1%, we won't get more than 0%. And our members like yours are the care workers, the cleaners, who've been on the front line throughout this last year. Billionaires in this country, their wealth went up by 25% during the pandemic. There is plenty of money there. Jeff Bezos of Amazon made $17 billion in one day. The MPs' pay has increased by £17,000. In the last 10 years, £37 billion was wasted on a Serco contract. That would have given every single person who provides health care a 15% pay rise for over 25 years. So we know the money's there. We have been waiting, but it's, we're done with waiting. It's, it's over. It's time for action, guys. In real terms, we've calculated that we've lost about 20% of our wages. There was a long time when there were pay freezes. People are not going to carry on working as well without, without a decent pay. And we need a good level of staffing so we can look after our patients properly. NHS has made up of 40% of black and ethnic minority workers. And they have faced the brunt of death in the, in the NHS. We know there is racism in the NHS. What we want is the nurses, the doctors, the carers, the cleaners to get paid. 
deserve. Workers in general would like it if everybody that was working here was directly employed by the NHS because there are people working here for companies where you know the terms and conditions are really not very good at all. We really demand pay justice for not only NHS staff but also all the workers in outsourced services, mainly women, often on the lowest possible pay. 1% will pay the rent! 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 There's a lot of people at the moment who are thinking of leaving, to be honest, because of what we've been through, people suffering with post-traumatic stress disorder. And if you then, at the same time, don't feel valued and feel like we're not respected, there's no incentive. You know, you could earn more working somewhere else. We got uh, a commission yesterday saying that we are a model of race equality. <laughs> when people from BAME backgrounds, including those who work for and in the NHS, are some of the lowest paid including our colleagues in, in ISS at the Homerton, who continue to be on an outsourced contract um, and continue not to get the same wages as all of us who work directly for the NHS. ISS workers and other uh, private contractor workers in the NHS are fully in support of the NHS pay rise. Unison has recently launched a big campaign for outsourced staff in the NHS to be included in that and for us to get NHS pay and conditions and also to be brought back in-house. We did win sick pay for every single member of ISS staff at Homerton, which was a massive victory. We also won the London Living Wage. We would not have won without support from our trust colleagues and from members of the local community. It's shocking that the government can waste billions giving to their mates on these failed PPE and um, track and trace. Billions, billions, and, and to, for no benefit. It hasn't helped anybody and yet they can't pay NHS staff. £37 billion pounds on track and trace was enough to give every adult in England half a million pounds. Well I would have preferred to have my half a million pounds. How dare they say they can't afford to give us a pay rise. Protect the NHS! We are the NHS! Protect the NHS! We are the NHS! Thank you. 